Hi, I'm Jeff Payne and I'm a preventive maintenance instructor with uh, Caterpillar. And so today I'm uh, standing here by this MTL machine and I'd like to talk a little bit about track maintenance on here. With tracks, there's uh, not a lot of maintenance you need to do, but there's some crucial things you need to keep up with. One of the things when you're out daily at a site is to, uh, at the end of the day, make sure you don't have a lot of packing in here. If you have packing in here, you want to take that shovel, a little shovel, and clean this out around these areas up in here and uh, keep that packing down so that next morning when you come in that mud's hard, it's not all packed up, that can cause some damage. Another thing is track tension. Um, a lot of people don't look at their track tension real well and that can cause you to uh, flip a, a belt off. What you want to do is take a 100 pound weight of some sort, lay on the track, get it to sag. I've got a string here with a couple of washers tied on the ends of it and I'm looking for about one inch of slack between the top of the tread and the string. Running that proper track tension is going to help this track uh, live long and hard life. The uh, track itself, a lot of people will replace these before they need to replace them. Uh, you're going to get cuts and tears in this track. That's, that's normal for the kind of work you do with these things. What you're looking for is if you have cuts all the way through the track and they, they're more than a third of the way across. Um, if your track's not holding tension, that's a good indicator you might need a new track. But if your track is holding tension, um, keep running it. You can run these things down until they're flat and smooth. Also, when you walk up daily, I like to look at the rollers. I take and, and rub, wiggle a few of these uh, sprocket rollers on here. They should be loose and free. And uh, that's going to help your track survive longer, too. Also, there's some grease zerks in different places on here. Um, the best place to look is your operation maintenance manual to make sure you hit all the grease zerks. Those are a daily item. They need to be greased every day. And while we're out here, you got these little uh, carrier wheels here, rollers. Um, these guys are sealed for life, so there's really no maintenance on them. Um, they can take a lot of wear and tear on here, even if you're replacing the track, as long as they're round and uh, still spin freely and smooth across the top, you can use them over again. About the only maintenance here would be like if you knock one of the caps off and uh, need to replace that. But uh, these little tips that I'm giving you here is going to help prolong the life of your tracks, lower your owner and operating costs. And for more information, look in your OMM located inside your machine or contact your local cat dealer.